Next, I'd like to talk to you about uh, a signal generator called an audio generator, which is capable of uh, generating electronic signals that will produce sound. And it's capable of uh, having the frequency changed on it, as I'll demonstrate here shortly. I'll turn up the volume. And it's now generating a signal of about 500 cycles per second. Let me show you what happens when the frequency changes. I have a knob here that I can change the frequency with. Low frequency. And higher frequency. Let's set that back to about 512 cycles per second. I'd like to uh, demonstrate loudness at this particular frequency. So again, you see the relationship between loudness and amplitude and frequency and pitch. Next, I'd like to demonstrate the phenomenon of beats, where we have a frequency such as 512 cycles per second. And uh, then we'll get a frequency from the audio generator of about that same frequency. And we mix those two frequencies together, and there'll be times when they'll be in phase and times when they'll be out of phase. And so what we'll hear is a series of beats. Uh, those beats will start out uh, when they're off pitch just a little bit from one another, wah, 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 wah. And as we bring them closer to the same frequency, those wah, wahs will go wah, 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 wah. So you can listen for that, and you can watch the amplitude fluctuate on the oscilloscope. This is 512 cycles per second, and I'll try to bring in the audio generator at about that same frequency. Well, pretty close. Uh, another way to generate beats comes from a musical instrument, the digging fork. And this is much like a tuning fork, only instead of having two prongs that oscillate uh, in synchronization, I have a number of prongs here that uh, are not exactly the same length and the same strength, and so they vibrate with slightly different frequencies. And when I set this up into oscillation, put it near the microphone, we might be able to hear some beats because these tuning fork prongs will be slightly out of sync with one another. They'll be at slightly different frequencies.